getting loads of these on my blog sale for a lot cheaper than I bought them for and they've only been used once so if anyone's interested um, just tell me and the proceeds well some of the proceeds will be going to um, Haiti this one Caliente uh, well I got an obvious gloss that's a red too but this is meant to be a sort of orange red with gold sparkles and the other one was a sort of blue based red now the obvious gloss I got was actually thicker and more opaque than this one so I don't know what went on there because this is meant to be this is meant to be a thick opaque lip colour hmm I'm not impressed uh, and finally lilac blossom which is the one of the lip glosses I'm going to keep which is again not opaque like I wanted it to be but it's a very nice lilac colour so I'm going to keep that one um, so I wouldn't buy any of them again but they've actually been discontinued since the last time I was uh, looking at the site so I don't know if they've, j if they've just decided like I did a formula wasn't right or what but um, they always have sales on spell which is good there's usually sort of buy two get one free which is why I got um, some of the lip glosses it was buy two get one free on both the obvious glosses and the bassiers um, I also got a set of four hollow glow glosses now these um, I absolutely love so I would suggest you check them out um, I don't know how well you can see these but they're basically they're kind of a clear gloss with a different colour shimmer in it. There's embers, which is sort of red, uh, absinthe, which is green, black light, which is pink, and moonlit, which is blue. And these you can put over the top of any lipstick and it'll add a sort of multi-dimensional other colour to it. Smudge my lipstick there. Um, again, there are, I've got some really good swatches of these on my blog, so I'm going to link to it there. These were... Now, the price is something like $8 for a lipstick. Um... These were in a set, so you got them a bit cheaper, but they still, they weren't, they weren't cheap, but personally I think these are worth it, because they're really unusual and very beautiful, but not the other glosses. And I don't, I didn't really even look at the prices of the, the Spells other products, because I just wasn't in, um, I just don't like not being able to get a sample. Okay, next I'm going to talk about Evil Shades, which is run by a lovely lady, um, and this is, I think, the, the least expensive mineral makeup company I've looked at. Um, I only have samples of eyeshadows. Uh, again, I've done uh, big reviews of these in my blog, so I'm going to link to them. Um, but look how pretty some of these are. And these samples, I think they came in a set for about $12 for 15 or something. So, really quite inexpensive. In fact, I think it was less than that. I've got it all written up on my blog, so I'll check. Um, some of the colours are absolutely beautiful, I love that one, and this one, this is from, um, they have a Alice in Wonderland collection, which is uh, these colours, and there's another one which I've lost. Um, the eyeshadows come in, they don't have the biggest range of colours, it's not like uh, Aroma Lee, because it's a very small um, company, but very good value, uh, really easy to buy from, um, and the woman's absolutely lovely, very kind. Her name's Andrea, and she's so sweet. Um, they also sell lip glosses. Uh, well, they also sell full sizes of the eyeshadows, which I don't have, and blushes, and sometimes nail polish, which I really want to try. But what else I got was uh, these lip glosses. Now, I only have a couple here to show you, but... I think they are something like three dollars fifty, and they come in these colours such as this bright blue, this lovely green, and you get a big five gram jar full. So that's going to last you a while, and it's only three dollars. They also have um, some more ordinary colours, like some pinks, some kind of just. Here's one, uh, deadly. This is a kind of deep vampy raspberry pink. Uh, some sort of clearer ones. Um, some with slight duochrome, they're absolutely beautiful and I'm going to link you to some lip swatches I've got of my collection. Okay, uh, next I'm going to talk about Hi-Fi Cosmetics, which uh, is the only brand I featured which doesn't have its own website, it's an Etsy site, um, but that's fine with me, if you have Etsy you'll know it's really easy to use and check out. Um, now I've got a few of their products, let's see if I can find one of each to show you, yeah, okay, haha. <laughs> 
Um, they sell, as well as what I've got, they sell, well they sell tons more eyeshadows, I only got a few. They sell uh, shimmer gels, they sell bronzer, bronzer gels and powder blushes and bronzer. They're now selling uh, lip glosses, which I'd really love to try. And it's probably some other bits and bobs I've forgotten. Now I got a gel blush, this is the colour Amour. And this was, I think, about six to eight dollars. I can't remember. I've got it all written down on my blog, so I'm going to link you and you'll be able to see all the details. And you get a big, I think this is a 10 gram jar. It might even be bigger, but it's basically, it's full to the top. Look at all the stuff on the thing. And this stuff is amazing. Um, you only need a tiny bit. Look, I'll show you. Just rub it in and you get this beautiful glow. And that, sort of, once it's dry, it's on there for a while. It's really good. And because it's sheer, you can layer it up if you want bit more so you just put a pop a bit more on it's really great and I'd really want to try some of the other colors very cheap you get loads of products and it's really effective um, they also sell shadows which come I think again these are about five dollars and they come in a jar like this this is from their Christmas collection uh, this color is called Grinch and it's beautiful as you can see it comes in a five gram jar of a sifter so you should probably have about one gram of product in there I'm not sure uh, and they sell special sort of blended glitters this is one which they call paparazzi flash powders very beautiful fine glitter and that again uh, these three products are all the same price around five dollars and the third product uh, I got well the final one the fourth one, but the third that's the same price, is called um, a Glamrock Eye Glitz. And this is the colour electric, and this is basically a glitter gel. Um, really pigmented, very easy to use. You just sweep a bit on, you can layer it up, and once it's dry, it'll stay there with hardly any flaking or anything. You can use it as eyeliner, or all over your eyelid, or I'm sure you can around your face, it's just a glitter gel. It's really good product. Um, I really highly advise you to check out all of these brands because I think they're amazing and they're all cheaper than well they're all around drugstore brand level of prices so I think they're great okay the last the last uh, no not the last sorry the second to last um, company I've looked at is Fiorine and I'm really sorry if I pronounce it wrong I just I don't I don't know I just can't say it Fiorine Fiorine um, now they sell uh, blushes, eyeshadows, lip products, um, loads and loads of stuff. Um, I got a few of their eyeshadows, which are absolutely beautiful. And the ones I got um, are called Arcane Magic eyeshadows, which means they basically change colour um, depending on the light. So it depends on how close they are to the light. There's one, and I very much doubt you're going to be able to see this, but this turns from a uh, green into a sort of copper colour. I can see it changing now, it's absolutely stunning. Um, it also depends on the source of the light, if it's natural light or uh, 